Mr. Butler, how you doing? Very good. Is this the bait shop? This is the bait shop. Well, where are the fish biting at today? In the water. <laughs> In the water, as always, huh? So how many years have you owned, owned this bait and tackle store? Almost now? 60, I think 58. Tell me a little bit about how you acquired this business. Come by driving and seen it for sale sign. I went and bought it right away. And I guess you were a passionate fisherman? Oh, I fished every day when I would sell insurance or something, see a lake and go fishing. <laughs> So when you had the opportunity to buy a bait and tackle store, it was a no-brainer. No-brainer. You just immediately went and bought it. Yeah. Since then, you and you and your wife who bought the store at that time have raised 14 kids. Yep. And I'm sure all of them have helped out at some point in time. And Everyone. Yeah. <laughs> at one point in time, your, your kids wanted a color TV screen, right? They wanted a color TV. I told them down behind the bait shop. They went down and come back. Uh, it's not there. I said, you got to dig it. <laughs> that night, it was raining. They went out and picked up night crawlers. They sold them. That was their money. They never had an allowance. They had cash. Hey, Chop. To be a tackle store owner, you got to know a little bit about all you kinds get, of fish. You gotta be a fisherman. You gotta be a fisherman and you need to know a little bit about pan fishing. You said you're a fly fisherman, cat fishing, bass fishing, crappie fishing. Tell me a technique of fishing that uh, was popular at one point in time, but for whatever reason, you don't see people do it anymore. When Bullock Pen first opened, uh, maybe three or four years later, they were catching bass with those poles right there. That's 14 foot long. Okay. And you tied a heavy string on it. Yeah. You had a, uh, a round float and a gob of worms. Okay. Right after a rain, uh, you would go and where the water was coming down off of the, the banks. Yeah. You would jig your, jig, jig your pole in that. And you would catch up to 10 pound bass. How much line did they put out? Oh, maybe three, four foot. That nobody does it no more. Yeah. A lot of people now tell me, you gotta have a lot of money to get into fishing with boats and electronics and reels. And you're telling me one of the techniques that uh, used to catch some of the biggest bass on literally didn't involve a reel. It was a cane pole and one treble hook and a bobber and a little bit of fishing line. You wait till the summertime and you take off your shoes and you wade the creeks with a cane pole and a can of worms. Yeah. And you went fishing. Yeah. And you brought the fish home and mama cooked them for you. Yeah. Everywhere I look, you've got AC shiners. Yeah. AC shiners is a lure that you must have a lot of respect because these are handmade out of yeah. balsa, balsa wood. And- uh, They're really good lures. They're really good lures. I noticed you've got them all over the store, so you must have a appreciation for good craftsmanship, huh? I buy every one I can get a hold of. Is that right? Yeah. I've got hundreds. You're getting close to retirement, I guess, huh? I retired many years ago. <laughs> I mean, from the bait, from the bait and tackle store? Never. Never going to retire. But you did rename the store. You yeah. got big plans for the place, don't you? So now it's, it's going down the line to the next generation. So it went, it went from ca being called Butler Bait and Tackle to what's it, go what's it called now? Debbie's Tackle, Bait De and Tackle. Debbie's Bait and Tackle. So that's Debbie's your daughter, right? There's my daughter. There's something about a local bait and tackle store that you know your lakes and areas, but you know what your customers want because you fish those same lakes. And these people who come in here are your friends. That's the difference you get from a local bait and tackle store versus walking into a big box retail store and seeing what they have. And yours is more along the lines of what customers are actually wanting based on what they use locally. Right.